let's draw the free body diagram of this bar here. We can draw a planar free body diagram because all of the loads are parallel to a center plane. And furthermore, all of the loads in the geometry are symmetric about a center plane. Okay, so taking a snapshot of this, center of mass here. Okay, first let's consider the body forces. The only body force to consider is gravity. So we'll put the weight of the bar acting at the center of mass. The bar is 100 kilograms. So 100 times 9.81 is 981 newtons. All right, so that's all the body forces. Now the only other forces to consider are points of contact between the body under consideration and its surroundings. The only points of contact are at A, B, and C. These points of contact are smooth, which means that the contact force is going to be perpendicular to each of the contacting surfaces. So the force at A will be left to right. Force at B will be up and down. Force at C will be perpendicular to the surface of the rod. We can see that the rod is oriented at 30 degrees, so this angle is 30 degrees. Now let's add dimensions, and that's the free body diagram.